A collision on the tracks and a dangerous chemical spilled after a freight train crashes into a tanker truck in Washington County. Good evening, everyone. Right now, residents who took shelter at a local fire hall are moving back into their homes. But that cleanup will press on overnight and into tomorrow, and so will the detours. Kim Gable is live with the very latest tonight. Kim. Well, first of all, the whole area has now been decontaminated, so that is good news. And the wreckage from the train and that truck, that has been cleared from the tracks as well. And as you said, those residents who were evacuated, displaced from their homes all day and all night, they're moving back inside now. The tracks that run along Route 88 in Centerville, Washington County, are right in front of Maddie and Jack Mowry's home. It was around noon when they looked out the window. Bang, we heard a big bang. Yeah, right, right here. And the train stopped. So we knew something big was hit. A tanker truck crossing the track slammed right into a CSX train. Its 100 cars were empty, but the truck full of 4,000 gallons of corrosive hydrochloric acid. The vapors that were coming yeah, off of it were pretty strong. 911, I explained to them what had Oil. happened. And All the product is on the ground, plus the train is also leaking diesel fuel. So we're, we're dealing with two different hazards at this time. 13 homes evacuated. Residents boarded a bus and took shelter at the East Bethlehem Fire Department. Judy Shuri, whose main concern was her beloved dogs, says this isn't the first time a train hit a truck at that crossing. The Lowe's was hit in half. Uh, a UPS truck was hit. Um, Another tanker was ready. hit. Meanwhile, a cleanup company was called in to neutralize the acid. Decontaminate uh, the tractor trailer wreckage, decontaminate the train. Um, we're checking the river outfalls to make sure that there's nothing that's gotten that far. It doesn't appear that anything has at this point. But Route 88 in that area will be closed for the morning commute. And we are told PennDOT will be posting detour information for folks who uh, typically drive that area. Meanwhile, a lot of neighbors there say uh, they wish that crossing would be marked better. There are cross bucks there at that intersection, but a lot of people we talk to say that just isn't enough. Reporting live tonight, Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.